Okay, in this video, we are going to look into multitasking on a microcontroller. Now, I'm using the Arduino Nano, which has an Atmega 320P microcontroller. Now, all microcontrollers can only do one thing at a time, one task at a time, but we could use interrupts to make it look like it's doing more than one thing at a time. And I've made a video on that, and I'll link that down in the description box. But we could also use multitasking. Now, multitasking is a round robin time sharing scheme where each task has its own time slice. So I'm going to set up three tasks on this breadboard. Now the first task will be the operating system running on, my, on the microcontroller. That's my fourth operating system. The second task will be blinking this LED. And the third task will be blinking these two LEDs in wigwag style. The wigwag are the lights you see at a railway crossing. So I'll activate task number two, this LED here. And we'll see it come on. Now I'll activate task number three, the wigwag. So now you see three tasks running at the same time. I have my operating system running on my Nano, and I have this LED blinking, and I have my wigwag uh, LEDs blinking. So in this video, we're going to have a look how we can set up and configure and run three tasks on a microcontroller. Okay, so this is how we multitask on a microcontroller. So our first task is called an operator. That's our operating system that's running on the microcontroller, which contains the multitasker, and everything is in software. So when we use interrupts, we're actually using the hardware on the microcontroller. But when we multitask, everything is done in software. So then we have our tasks. Here's task number two, task number three, and we could go on and on. So this is task number n. And so the operator, the multitasker, will give a time slice to the operator. Then it will switch down to task number two. I'll give task number two uh, a time slice. And then three, and then it will keep on going to the last. And it will operate in a round robin scheme. And this happens so fast that it looks like all the tasks are running at the same time. Okay, here's the code running in my Nano. And you can see my two tasks. One called Blink, which blinks the LED. The other one's called Wigwag, that flashes the LED. So the first thing I do, I create a task. I call it Task 2. And then I run my program. It's called Blink. And the first thing I do, make pin, pin 8 an output. That's driving the LED. And it goes into a Begin a gain loop, and in that loop it toggles pin 8 every 200 milliseconds and I will flash the LED. Now my second task, task 3, I create task 3 right here, create task 3, and my program is wigwag, and it's another begin and again loop that runs continuously, and here's the code that will flash LEDs in a wigwag uh, fashion. Then I have a word called T2, and in there we assign blink to task 2 and then we run it and also word called T3 we take wigwag and we assign it to task 3 and then it will run so by typing T2 it will run task 2 and by typing T3 it will run task 3 okay I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer and it's connected to my Nano, which is running Flash 4. That's my fourth operating system. Now if I hit Enter on the keyboard, you see I get an OK prompt back, so I'm talking to my Nano. Now if I type the word Tasks, that will show me what tasks are running. And right now only the operator is running. That's my operating system. So if I type T2, that will start my task number 2. So now my LED is blinking. Now you can see two tasks are running, operator and task two. So I can start task number three. Now my wigwag has started. You can see now we have three tasks running, operator, task three, and task two. So the operator has total control over the task. It could start or stop any task at any time, which is pretty powerful. So if I type task three end, now task three has been stopped. If we have a look, we only have operator and task 2 running. So by using Flashforth, it's pretty easy to run a multitasker on a microcontroller. Okay, so that was my little primer on multitasking on a microcontroller. So you can use the code as a template to make many tasks for your projects. You can make it pretty sophisticated. Now if you're intimidated by multitasking and interrupts, there's other options. You could use a CPLD, like this one here. And you could run multiple tasks at the same time. Or you can use a multi-core microcontroller, like the Parallax Propeller, which has eight microcontrollers on board. You can run eight tasks 
at the same time. So I hope this video gave you some ideas how you can use multitasking in your projects.